and it shall come to pass that whoever calls on the name of the Lord shall be saved. Acts 2.21 and post it. Hey everyone, I just posted a verse from the book of Acts on social media. Isn't it amazing that I can get a message out to people all around the world anytime I want? Today, we're talking about getting a very special message to as many people as possible. We're diving into the book of Acts to discover how the early followers of Jesus were empowered to get the message about Him all over the world. And to help us learn about getting a message out to the world, we are studying a really amazing tower that got all kinds of great messages out to lots of people. This is WSM Radio Tower. Turn in your Bibles to the book of Acts and get ready to discover that the Savior who gave us the gospel will also give us the power we need to get that gospel to everyone everywhere. I'm Kaylee, and this is Explore the Bible on Location. This WSM radio tower is full of incredible history. It was constructed in 1932. That's almost 100 years ago. When it was completed, it was 878 feet tall. Just to give you a little perspective, that's almost six Statues of Liberty tall. That's almost 13 White Houses tall. That's, that's almost, well, you get the picture. It's huge. This tower set a record for being both the tallest radio tower and the tallest man-made structure in the entire world at that time. Now, obviously there are a lot of buildings and towers that are taller today, but it's pretty amazing to think that this was the head honcho for a while. It was the power in this tower that caused the music in this area to be broadcast all over America. This tower is so tall that the workers here say it takes most people an hour to an hour and a half just to climb to the top. Could you imagine climbing that long? Could you imagine climbing that high? No thanks. Here's what's crazy. All the music and voices that this tower sends all over the nation come from this little building. This is the transmission building, built the same time as the tower. A little building and a huge tower with huge power. Hmm. It's amazing how something so small can do something so big when the right kind of power is added to it, like that. One small microphone can get a voice around the country and even around the planet. And that's what we're talking about today, getting a message all over the world. People have been trying to get messages to other people for thousands of years. Let's just say the way we communicate has changed a lot. At the very beginning of human history, messages were shared orally, one person speaking to another. Then, basic writing was invented and messages could be chiseled in stone or written on animal skins or papyrus reed, copied and shared. A little while before Jesus was born, paper was invented, one language was spoken by most of the world, international roads were built, and the first major postal system was invented. Now, messages started spreading worldwide. Fast forward to the 1450s AD. The printing press was invented, and the Bible was copied and sent around the world like never before. The 1800s brought us the electric telegraph, and people could communicate even faster. The 1920s brought us radio, the 1930s brought us telephones, the 1940s brought us TV, the 1980s brought us the internet and cell phones, and boom! The whole world is connected and messages are broadcast around the globe all day, every day. Sometimes by using tiny little devices like this one. Phew, that is a lot of upgrades and changes. But the most significant change to spreading messages didn't happen when the radio was invented or the TV or the internet or the cell phone. The most amazing change happened to a group of 120 people over 2,000 years ago. 
Jesus came preaching the gospel or message of the kingdom. He was amazing. And Jesus had a plan for making sure the gospel message would keep spreading even after he returned to heaven. Jesus told his followers to wait in Jerusalem for the promise of God the Father. He promised to send the Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit is able to lead, guide, and empower his people to follow Jesus and share the gospel. After Jesus ascended into heaven, his followers returned to Jerusalem. They prayed and waited for 10 days. Then the sound of a mighty rushing wind filled the place where they were praying. They were all filled with the Holy Spirit. They went out into the city and started spreading the gospel message to everyone. Within months, the gospel filled Jerusalem. Within a couple of years, the gospel filled the whole region of Judea, Samaria, and Galilee. Within a few decades, the gospel spread all over the Roman Empire. Today, the gospel is still spreading all over the world. The spread of the gospel really took off the day the Holy Spirit came to empower Christ's church. This huge radio tower gives huge power to that small building and can empower one person with a microphone to get his or her voice to millions. In a similar way, the Holy Spirit empowers us to share the gospel with everyone. This tower helps to spread a message through radio, and the Holy Spirit helps us to tell others about Jesus. So what do you need to communicate the gospel message? A printing press, radio, TV, the internet, a cell phone? Well, those are all great tools, but all you really need is the power of God through His Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit is way more powerful than any tool, including the WSM radio tower. Remember this, the most important message to ever be shared is the gospel of Jesus. Jesus tells us that we will receive power from the Holy Spirit to be His witnesses and to share His gospel everywhere we go. By His Spirit, God can empower you to use your voice, your talents, and your life to get the message of Jesus all over the world. That's good news, and that's what we discover when we dig into the book of Acts. I'm Kaylee, and this is Explore the Bible on Location.